Hey what's going on gang, welcome to your ninth git and github tutorial and in this video we're going to start merging branches and dealing with conflicts. Okay then, so in the last tutorial what we did is we created a couple of new branches to work on some new features and that's typically what we do if we're working on new features because we don't want to mess up the master branch which is going to be our production code. So we made these new branches and we were happy with the new features. So now we need a way to take that code and merge it back into the master branch. And that's what we're gonna take a look at in this tutorial, merging these kind of feature branches and the code we create here back into the master branch so that when we publish our code, we're publishing this new feature as well. Okay then, so I'm still in the same repo and what I'm gonna do is just a git branch hyphen A to show us the branches. You can see we've got three branches, master, feature A and feature B and we're currently on master. So let's just check out feature A and feature B to see what they are. We'll say git checkout and then feature A and you can see we've got this script right now, feature A. Okay, so that's the first branch and the other branch, git checkout feature B it's going to be this feature B JavaScript file, both very similar. Either way, we've finished these two features now and we're happy with each one. Now, I want you to imagine that each feature is being worked on by a different person at the same time. So, myself, I'm working on feature B. I'm happy with it now, so what I want to do is merge it back into the master branch, right? So to do that, first of all, we have to be on the branch that we want to merge into. So we want to be on the master branch because that's what we're merging into. So I'm going to say git checkout master. Okay, now what we want to do is merge that feature A branch into this one. And to do that, we just say git merge and then the name of the branch that we want to merge in. And it's called feature hyphen A. Okay, so now we see this message updating fast forward uh, feature A.javascript, one file changed, one insertion. Okay, so now what we've done is we've taken that code from the branch, the feature one branch or feature A branch, and we've merged it into this master branch, which we're still on. And now we can see that feature A script right there. So cool, we've merged that now. And this fast forward thing basically means that all we're doing is kind of fast forwarding up to the code changes that we've made in the feature A branch. Because in the time between branching out and merging it back into master, we've not actually made any changes in the master branch. So essentially all we're doing is fast forwarding up to that feature A change. Make sense? Cool. So now let's merge the other one. So we do the same thing, we say git, and we don't do it in the text editor, we do it over here, git merge, and then we wanna merge feature hyphen B. So let's do that. This time we merge feature B, and we can see feature B over here as well, so that's worked successfully. Uh, the only difference is that this time the merge was made by the recursive strategy. And that's because this time, We've not just fast forwarded to um, this branch code because this branch code didn't have feature A in it. In other words, the master branch has changed in the time from taking feature B branch out and merging it back in because we've added the feature A branch to master. Okay, so it has to use a different strategy to merge them. Doesn't really matter so much just yet. The same effect is here. We've still merged the feature B branch into the master. So now master is up to date with both of these two features and it doesn't matter that we've worked on them at the same time, different people doing them, we've both just merged them back in and everything is absolutely fine, okay? But that's not always the case. Sometimes you're gonna come across what's known as conflicts and I'm gonna give you an example of that now. So for example, say this is the current state of our master branch, everything's happy, um, the code is working perfectly, and we want to add in a new feature, a new CSS feature, right? So let us check out a new branch to do that. So I'm going to say git checkout hyphen B to say we want a new branch and also the branch name, which is going to be feature C. Yep, I'm terribly original. Okay, so now we're on this feature C branch. But before I start work on this, I just want to go back to the master. So I'm going to say git checkout master now we're back on the master branch now i want you to imagine that some upstart new at the company has decided just to make edits on the master branch yep those people do exist so what they've done is they've gone into the css file and said you know what i think i'm going to put a margin of 20 pixels on this body uh, selector right here okay so i'm going to save that now and i'm going to commit it to the master branch so let's say git add just to add those to the staging area then we'll say git commit and the message is added margin to the body selector. All right, cool, so we've made that commit now. 
Now, in the meantime, I'm working on feature C. So, git checkout feature hyphen C. I'm working on this, and I don't know about that CSS change that the other dudes uh, added into the master branch. All the time, I'm working in this CSS file, and I add in a padding property to this selector, which is going to be, I don't know, 30 pixels, right? So I save that now. I'm happy with this new CSS feature, which is really cool. And what I want to do is merge this back into the master. So first of all, we need to make a commit to this branch. We'll say git add to add these changes to the staging. Then we'll say git commit and m is going to be added padding. Okay, that'll do. Anyway, now I want to merge this. So I'm going to check out the master first of all, because that's what we're merging to. And now I want to merge the feature C branch into master. So what I'm going to do is say git merge and then the name of the branch, which is feature hyphen C. Now check this out. Boom, we have a conflict, right? And that's because that upstart has been editing the body selector in the master branch while I've been working on my new feature, editing the same selector, right? The body selector. So in this case, we get a lot of mumbo jumbo over here and we also get an error message over here. And the error message basically says there's a conflict in the styles.css file, that's nice. It tells you which file it's in. Uh, there's an automatic merge fail and it tells us to fix the conflicts and then commit the result. So it's asking us for help because it doesn't really know what to do at the minute. It's a bit stuck because it knows that someone's changed this select on the master branch and someone's changed it on this new feature branch. We're trying to merge the two together and Git doesn't really know which version we want, okay? So we have to help it decide. So all we wanna do basically is say to Git what we want in this code. Now, I've had a, you know, speak to this new guy and uh, said, okay, don't develop on the master branch again, but what is it you want? And he says, yeah, we do need that margin there. So I'll keep the margin in. I'm going to delete this little comment thing right here and this thing right here. And also I want to keep in the padding. So we'll delete that, but leave everything else the same. So this is basically how this body selector should look, right? So now if I save this, what I'm going to do is add this file. I'm going to say git add to the staging area, then just do a git commit. Now this time I don't need to write a message because we're just doing like a kind of um, merge commit if you like. So I'm going to just say git commit and then you'll get this scary screen again. You don't need to do anything except shift and colon. You'll see this colon down here now, then WQ, enter, it's going to exit out and it's going to do that merge for us. So now everything is hunky dory and I can see that by saying git log all on one line. And now we can see we've got that merge right here. Cool, and everything is looking fine. So you will come across different conflicts and probably they're gonna be more complex than that, but really it's just the case of communicating with whoever's made the other changes and uh, deciding between you what the file should look like where the conflict has occurred, right? You edit it manually, you add them to staging and you make that commit and it's gonna take care of the rest for you. But in a nutshell, that is how we merge branches and deal with conflicts.